Hi, I'm Mark Lyon. This is my tractor invention. Uh, we'll kind of explain to you how it works. Basically, it's a single axle tractor. Those are the drive tires there. Uh, those arms with the front just keep it balanced while you're not hooked to anything. Uh, after you get hooked to something, you no longer need those on the ground. These provide the steering and the drive, and those arms just move out of the way and actually uh, end up converting to a loader arm when when you have something hooked up to it. Uh, it's powered by a 25 horsepower Briggs and Stratton right now, uh, powering a hydraulic pump, which which steers and drives. Um, pretty pretty basic setup. Um, it's it can hook up from the front or the back, so you can drive it in either direction, or it can hook up to two things at once. It's got uh, arms there where you can put a uh, three-point hitch on it and, and use a three-point implement on the back. Uh, I guess that's about it. We'll uh, go ahead and, and drive it around a little bit and then we'll hook it up and kind of show you how it hooks up to the trailer and, and uh, how it works. Uh, from that, uh, the hitch point in the back actually slides underneath the, underneath the tractor so you can actually hook it up back here or slide it to the front and hook it up still underneath but with the tractor straddling the tongue of, of whatever you're hooking to. So it allows you to move your uh, attachment point to allow you to get a little shorter on the trailer and also affect the balance point where you can add more weight to the front of the tractor to, for better traction. Okay, we're going to start it up and drive it around here a little bit. Uh, it has switches on the back here to control the forward backward direction and also the steering and the ignition switch, uh, kill switch, choker here. Uh, we'll be operating it off a remote control. It's got a wireless remote control on it. Um, pretty easy. It actually kind of works pretty good because one is forward, two is backwards, three is to turn left, four is to turn right. Now if you happen to have this thing where you're operating it from this direction and it, everything works good. If you go to the other side of the tractor, so you would be operating it in reverse, it actually works the exact same way. One, it would be forward. Two, would be reverse. Three, would be to turn uh, left. Four, would be to turn right because you're going in the opposite direction. So as long as you have that, the, the front of the remote control facing the same direction forward on, on the tractor, it's going to work the same. You don't have to worry about switching it left or right. Okay, we'll try to start up. That's how you hook it up. 
there's two different attachment points. One of them is this way, the other one we've got an adapter that actually locks it in place so you can actually hook it up right there and then drive off with it. We're going to show you how the piece slides underneath so that you can get it hooked up a little shorter. So we'll just move it underneath the trailer there now. anywhere you want. Um, if you have a bucket in the front, you can actually dump whatever's in the bucket into the trailer or if you have a hay fork or whatever, those become the loader arms now. turning radius um, because it's got hydraulic wheel motors that are powering it so they can really turn pretty sharp so we'll play with it a lot a little bit around here you push the button it speeds it up or slows it down a little bit so that's kind of a creep and if you want to go a little bit faster you just push the button once or twice and it just goes a little bit faster. 
time you push the button, it increases its speed a little bit. Same thing if you want to stop, you just push the reverse button until it comes to a stop. It's got automatic uh, spring-loaded brakes on it that whenever the hydraulic pressure uh, diminishes, the spring brake comes on. So you don't have to worry about it. any braking, it automatically starts braking itself. Okay, we'll go ahead and hook it up to two, tra two trailers at the same time and kind of show you how that works. Um, Remote control comes in pretty handy when you want to hook up different attachment points or uh, you know you can't really see sometimes behind a tractor behind a truck when you want to back it up. So uh, this one's remote control so you just bring it to you. Control, depending on what you want them to, to use. We've got a kill switch on this one so if it gets too far away or or uh, you know if you're about to run into something or somebody steps in front of it and you want to stop it real quick you just push the one and two together. Kills it. Alrighty. Thanks. Okay so that's kind of how it works. Uh, I invented this a uh, year or so ago. I uh, just got a patent on it. So it's, it is uh, patented. Uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, different things.
things you might want to know about it. It's a, a little bit unconventional in its design, uh, but it works pretty handy if you're trying to move trailers or operate things, uh, maybe open and closing gates or open and closing doors. We use it a lot uh, around the farm because if you're going to go open gates, you can just step off, open the gate, drive it through, shut the gate, and step on the trailer and ride it around when you're feeding or, or uh, stuff like that. It doesn't add any length to the trailer because it straddles the neck so, and it turns really sharp so you're able to have a really maneuverable trailer uh, when you hook it up. Uh, one of the advantages is that it costs about half the price of a regular tractor. There's only two tires, about half or less of the machine parts that you'd normally have in a tractor, so it makes it quite a bit cheaper uh, to manufacture. And it's a little bit more versatile. You can hook up two trailers. You can have it um, where it jackknifes or doesn't jackknife, depending on how you want to operate it. And it's remote control. Um, if you're looking, I'm looking to kind of have some maybe interested in licensing it, so or uh, you know, maybe help me promote it. If you're interested in that, you can uh, contact me. The website is M and M Horsemanship. It's all spelled out. Uh, dot com. Or you can get hold of me on my phone. It's 402-680-2257. And uh, just feel free to call me or ask me questions.